Script for YouTube video, Growing a Forest in My Backyard. How to Plant 1,000 Trees. Did you know that one tree can absorb about 48 pounds of carbon dioxide a year? That's like taking a car off the road for a whole week. Imagine if you could plant a thousand trees right in your backyard. Today, we're diving into how I'm attempting to create a mini forest and why it's super important for our planet. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. So, have you ever thought about what it would be like to grow your own forest? Well, I decided to take on this challenge and plant a thousand trees right in my backyard. It's not just a fun project, but it's also a rewarding experience that can make a huge impact on our environment. Stick around, and I'll show you how it all went down. Presentation of problem slash challenge. Now, let's talk about the challenges I face when attempting to plant 1,000 trees. First off, space was a major concern. My backyard isn't exactly a forest, so figuring out where to plant all these trees was tricky. I had to map out the area and make sure there was enough room for the trees to grow without overcrowding each other. Then, there's the issue of resources. Trees need water, nutrients, and care to thrive, and I had to think about how to supply all that for a thousand little saplings. It was a bit daunting, to say the least. Plus, I had to deal with the logistics of ordering the trees, planting them, and ensuring they got the proper care. Oh, and let's not forget about wildlife. I had to consider how to protect my young trees from curious deer and rabbits who might want to munch on them. All in all, it was clear this was going to be a big challenge, but I was determined to see it through. Exploration slash development. So, how do you actually plant a thousand trees? The first step was choosing the right species. I wanted a mix of native trees that would thrive in my area and provide habitat for local wildlife. After some research, I settled on a few different types that would not only grow well but would also help maintain biodiversity. Next up was preparing the soil. I had to clear out a lot of grass and weeds, and I spent a weekend digging and mixing in compost to enrich the soil. Healthy soil is key for strong trees. Once the ground was ready, it was time to plant. I decided to use a technique called grid planting, which involves spacing the trees evenly apart to ensure they have enough room to grow. I enlisted a few friends to help me. Together, we spent hours digging holes, planting saplings, and watering them in. It was hard work, but seeing those little trees in the ground felt amazing. Every tree we planted was like a small victory, and with each sapling, I felt more hopeful for the future. Climax slash key moment. Now, let me share a pivotal moment from this journey. About a month after planting, I noticed that a significant number of my trees were starting to wilt. I was devastated. Had I done something wrong? After some investigation, I realized that a few unexpected heavy rains had flooded some areas and drowned the roots. But here's where the story takes a turn. Instead of giving up, I took action. I quickly organized a tree care day with my friends and we went back to the site. We dug up the wilting trees, checked their roots, and replanted them in better drained areas. It was a tough lesson but also a huge moment of growth, not just for the trees, but for me too. I learned that adaptability is key in gardening and that setbacks don't mean failure. After that, I made sure to monitor them closely and, luckily, they bounced back. Conclusion slash summary. So, after all the hard work, I can proudly say I've planted a thousand trees in my backyard. It's been a wild ride, but seeing those trees grow and knowing they're helping combat climate change fills me with joy. Plus, I'm excited to see the wildlife they attract and the shade they'll provide in the coming years. This project has shown me how impactful even one person can be when they decide to take action for the environment. Remember, every tree counts. Call to action, CTA. Now it's your turn. Have you ever thought about planting trees? Share your experiences in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more content on sustainability and the environment. I've got plenty of other exciting projects coming up that I can't wait to share with you. Thanks for watching, and let's keep making the world a greener place together. End of script.